Alright, it's Wrestling Hero Figs! We're always trying to find the substitutes, but that's no longer a thing, man. We don't have to substitute anything because Mattel, they brought it right here with the Reckon Slambulance. Now, if you guys are stopping to the channel for the first time, first of all, hit that subscribe button, drop a like, because this isn't the first time that we've seen something like this, right? We got the car before. Today, we're getting the Mamma Jamma Slambulance Hero Figs. I don't see any Mamma Jammas. Well, you will. Once I get this cracked open, you're going to understand why you been patiently waiting for me to get this out we got the side of the packaging right there we got braun Strowman ripping through the top roman reigns taking off the side the doors and we're gonna do all this man we're gonna perform as much of the craziness and mayhem that we're seeing on the packaging a lot of functions a lot of stuff that you can do with it like if you look right here on the corner you can see that the actual license plate it is a function you push that in and it's supposed to launch the stretcher that we're seeing right there on the side so there it is man you push that and then that's the following action so so it is pretty neat, man. I have been wanting this. I mean, ever since that this was debuted, I was like, yo, what's going on, man? Mattel, I know you guys were in the rumor. This was all talk before, but today it's no longer that. We got John Cena over here. You can actually fit the figures inside, which is pretty neat. I know that was one of the biggest drawbacks when we were trying to do this with the Bruder version. So I do want to do a comparison alongside with this and the other version that Mattel has released. Hero Fix, you're talking too damn much. Let's go ahead and get this out of the packaging. Yeah, here it is. So here we have it. Now, before we get Get into full in depth with this. I want to cover the extras, right? Because we do got some accessories to talk about. We have the stretcher right here, which is not the first time that we have seen this. We actually got this with Braun Strowman, not his first elite, but the second one. But it's not identical. I am noticing quite a bit when it comes to like the actual frame of it all. This one is a lot thinner, it's a lot lighter. You can feel some heftiness to this. The top piece on this, you're seeing basically the exact same thing. We're seeing the same straps coming across right there. This actually has something to support the figure. So when we do launch, it he should be able to stay on there no problem well, matter of fact i'm gonna go ahead and try it right now ray mysterio let's get you in here let's see how you're gonna stay on there we got straps right here on the side all you gotta do is unstrap that right there put ray ray get them all locked in get them secure because the monster among men he wants to freaking wreak havoc through this this is the iconic piece about this you guys this has been used in so many different occasions i know the most memorable i'm sure for most is when braun Strowman was utilizing this quite a bit the other thing i want to discuss you guys is that you're gonna have some decal to play around with now this is going to be optional and the way that i'm going to see this is that i don't know if i'm going to go ahead and put the wwe logo i kind of want to keep the authenticity but we do got some headlights we got some tail lights and we got the logo of the slambulance that's supposed to go right there on the side i'm telling you if you were to put this it would just kind of take away from the realistic feel after all i think this is why one of the reasons we like to recreate man it's something about just playing with your figgies that really brings out the hype now check this out there was a lot of parts that actually did require to go on here this one you had to add on and they're pretty simple man once you hear click it's on there for good so you get like a little side piece right here the rooftop you can also push opponents through the top right there the hood you can rip that off you can slam them you can take off these doors as well as rip off the headlights to bash over your opponent now they don't light up that's gonna be my gripe on this like if you guys just saw that brooder one that i just showed you in just a sec again i'll bring it up to the frame so you guys can see the side by side this one actually has a function man you got a little button right here and all you do is you hit that and it goes off right all the lights light up i ain't seen none light up but i look right there side by side you can see that they're like height wise that is right there on the money only difference is that the actual cockpit this is going to be a lot taller so you can fit the figures in there let's get aj styles and see how mr aj is going to sit in there hero fix don't do it man why because aj is going over to smackdown he has left raw and now he's bringing back right the house that he built check it out all right let's break this piece off so you guys can see what's going on come on slam it. What do you do? <laughs> it's not breaking. All right, so you might have to do it from the outside. How the heck do you break this? So you might have to actually do some force because this thing ain't collapsing on me, but we ain't giving up, man. We're going to go ahead and turn it around. Maybe push it through. Yep, you got to push it through the inside. That's how you're going to get that piece to completely come off. Look at the inside, you guys. There is a lot of detail going on. At this side, we got a little med kit. We got a microwave. We got some cabinets. We got a hero fix. Why do they have a microwave? Well, they're going to get hungry, man. These guys are hauling ass 24-7. Like, there's no rest. If you're a paramedic, you're going to be from point A to point B. You ain't coming back home until the ass crack of dawn. Fix, how do you know all this, man? Like, were you a paramedic at some point? I wasn't, but, I mean, sit down and think about it. It's not like people stop getting sick or stop getting old or dying. So you need this at all times. Roman Reigns, get in here, man. We need to see how the big dog, how he's going to put Braun Strowman in here after the match. So Braun Strowman sitting in there. He's a pretty good-sized figure. So I think this is a great...
perfect comparison. You can't have them stand up like vertically unless if you like pop the top. That's the only way that's going to play out. Like you can get some pretty good shots in here, but in order for this to truly work out, it's going to have to be all like closed in. There it is. The head's going to stick out quite a bit. You know what? Let me get the camera angle a little bit higher so you guys can see how it's going out. So you got to have about, I don't know, say a good three quarters of the actual head sticking out. But if you do want them like in there, like sitting down, it shouldn't be an issue. This top piece right here, you didn't have to assemble this. Like the only pieces that you really had to assemble was to apply these back doors, the piece that we broke off right here on the side, as well as coming around here. This is also another piece that you can rip off. We got a couple of doors and all you got to do, my friend, is again, it's all about bashing, crashing, and slamming this. Look at this. You rip it off and we got some stuff. This is actually a nice little storage area, man. We can maybe put like a fire extinguisher back here. Here's the door. Nice little extra to get your Ray Mysterio. Ray, you're going to hate me after this, man. You're going to be like, Hero Fakes, why are you using me? Why am I the test dummy? Because look at this. You take it like a champ. <laughs> All right, let's put him in the gurney. Let's get him back here. Let's get it all stretched out. Let's push the button, Roman Reigns. If you don't mind, sir, I know you're doing your job in here, but Rey Mysterio, he wants to go for a ride, man. He wants to go ahead, get all tucked in, and all you do is you push him in, and you're going to hear a click. Once you hear the click, you hear it? You heard it? I know you heard it. And if you didn't hear it, you need to turn up the volume, man. Hero Fakes, you're too loud. Why would I turn up the volume? Are you trying to blow my eardrums? Here's the button. We're going to push the right there, the license plate, and that's what's going to launch him. All right, you guys ready? We're going to do a little countdown. Rey Mysterio, we're going to go ahead and close the door. Roman Reigns, let's get in front, right? Because he's gonna, he thinks he just won the match. He's like, yeah, I put Ray Ray in there. This is what's going to happen. No, this is what's going to happen, big dog. Yeah, wait, he didn't go. <laughs> we're doing it again. Roman Reigns, get out of my way. This time we ain't closing the door. I want him to fly dude i ain't messing around we don't mess around here on this channel all right roman stand there don't move please work with me don't fall until at least you get hit and then you can lay down on the job if you want to there you go yeah <laughs> so it looks like on the actual commercial i mean there was like an advertisement it was like a 30 second clip when they first debuted this like this thing went flying at least a good 20 feet but the only thing i got was probably about a few inches ray ray you're terrible you're fired i fire your ass before i hire your ass <laughs> All right, let's get into some more detail on this. As you guys can see on the tires, they are freaking huge. I mean, these are like almost the equivalent to, I don't know, would you guys call this like a full-size, like big-ass monster truck? Let's get the old tires. Let's get the old ambulance right there so you guys can see side-by-side -side of how big I'm talking about. This is literally twice the size of what we saw right here with the Bruder version. The doors, let's rip these off because that's all part of the gig, man. We got a little side mirror. We got the handle. We got the red stripe that continues from the front and then works all the way back of course, if you do end up adding the doors, this will all tie in. Bring it all together. Let's come up here to the cockpit because AJ Styles, we got a man over here, a passenger, right? So he's ready. He's ready to go hit the show. Rollins, let's go ahead and see how you fit in there because we do have a steering wheel in here to mess around with, so that might interfere with how he actually sits, and I'm not seeing any issues, you guys. I can see a lot of clearance in the legs and even for headroom. I mean, Seth Rollins, what is he, about six foot two, give or take? He's still got a good foot to work with, so Braun Strowman being close to the seven foot tall marker i know that's the question hero fix are you gonna put a giant in there is braun Strowman gonna fit in there so once he actually does win the match he can go ahead drive home call it a day he says hero fix i'm the universal champion i'm gonna leave when i want to and look at that the front that is pure authenticity aj styles why are you leaning to the side man because braun Strowman's in here he's taking up all the room is he though here's the hood we're gonna bash that we're gonna crack this off and check out that engine babe we're gonna see if it's a four cylinder no nah, bro this is gonna be most likely like an eight this is easily an eight or maybe even like a ten you guys know what size engine i mean it's got to be at least an eight but it doesn't matter because wwe they want to tell you man like if you're gonna go and check out what kind of engine this thing has we're gonna put a wwe logo we're gonna mask it and it's not even gonna matter so that's neat so these i mean you can rip them off but something is holding it down but this is no different than the side of the doors like all these pieces this is what it's truly designed for here's the grill there's the country strong wrecking and it is the same plate in the back as we're seeing up front we got the lip we got a nice little lip going on i mean this thing is riding pretty damn low i don't know the clearance how well they're gonna do i'm sure the the little step up will assist them braun Strowman, let's get you back out of here why hero fix because i want to see what's going on man i saw a steering wheel i saw a whole enchilada in there and i'm starting to feel kind of hungry aj styles you're gonna get out of the way too man i want to see what's going on in the passenger side we're gonna cover this thing from ground all the way up look at that we got the abdometer kind of hard to pick up there is actual there's no designs or speedometer right behind it it's all black that goes the same for like the stereo like you can see buttons but that that's going to be as about as far as it goes we got a stick shift we even got a cup holder you cannot put anything
think it is way too small. I know some of the other stuff that, that we've used, like I know, for example, the what was it, the limousine? You could actually put like drinks in there. So what it all comes down to, I mean, it is the little things, but it is going to be the little things that make big things happen. I want to get the wreck and slam car, pull them side by side, see how tall this is compared to it. Now there is a windshield on this. For the life of me, I couldn't find it. I I, I look, oh, it's right in here, hero fakes. Open up your eyes, man. Let the people see what is going on because if they did pick this up, they're going to go ahead and bring both of them together. Like that's the whole thing about the street fight parking lots. You want to have your car, you want to have the ambulance, you want to have the trash truck. What is it? The the limousine and all those ones. Again, I'm sure if, if these do well, I'm pretty sure Mattel will eventually make those. But there it is, side by side, right there. So it's sitting right underneath the tire line. I'm going to tell you this playset right off the get go. This is a clear freaking 10 man i can't take anything away i mean we got tons of pieces that we can utilize in a street fight and a weapon match we got a lot of genuine things that really just bring this to life like there's the license plate like how we were talking out up front like the bottom of it look at this you can see the mesh you can see how like it looks like solid steel i mean this is all plastic but it just looks real to me i don't know what it is the doors the handles there is already the slambulance going across the back so you're not going to have to add that i don't know i might even have to go and modify that a little bit there's the tail lights the top piece look at this let's open it up so you guys can get a good idea of how braun Strowman is going to do the power slam through the opponent so you're not going to be able to like bend it in oh, hold on you can hold on rewind we're doing it you can definitely do it check it out braun Strowman, aj styles let's go let's do it yeah power slam here sauce if there was one word that i could describe this seth rollins get over here i, I want to go ahead and show you one last thing i mean we do have to depart at some point we got a little peg holes we got peg holes to put it on the bottom of the boot we got handles for him to hang on so if they are traveling at 45 miles per hour i hate to leave you man i want to keep you guys here all day and night but stay tuned we got a massive unboxing coming here over the weekend pretty genuinely excited to throw down some epic content for you i want to thank you guys for watching be sure to hit the subscribe button if you're new to the channel and we'll see you on the next one big dog right there coming through with the spear